All right, now once again back to the historic change in relations between US, the U.S. and Cuba. And of course, the historic trip of the first U.S. cruise liner to make its way to Havana in decades. It arrived there earlier this morning, and CNN's Patrick Ottman is also there this morning, this afternoon. Patrick. Tell us the latest. Well, what's happening there? Yes, and a lot of excitement here, Lauren and Walter. We're hearing applause, actually. Uh, Cubans applauding uh, each American visitor as they come off uh, this Carnival cruise ship. Uh, this morning, uh, there was a crowd on Havana Seawall, the likes of which I've never seen, to welcome a cruise ship here. Uh, over 300 people, I'd, I would estimate, uh, all waving uh, American flags or just taking uh, photos on their smartphones. A lot of excitement, of course. This is the first U.S. cruise ship to come here in nearly 40 years. First time ever that a cruise ship has been able to come here uh, with Cuban Americans on board who are able to come off uh, and uh, once again uh, walk the streets uh, of their country. So uh, there is a, a festive atmosphere, a lot of excitement, and of course, uh, tomorrow this cruise ship will continue on, go to the Cuban city of Cienfuegos, and then go on to the second largest. Uh, city uh, in, on the island of Santiago de Cuba before heading back to Florida. But right now uh, in Havana, uh, with each uh, American visitor, we hear a round of applause, uh, and uh, and people are uh, are just very excited on both sides uh, for Americans to be once again traveling to Cuba on cruise ships. Uh, Patrick, I'm wondering what was sort of the preparation to get these ports ready for such a cruise ship to dock, not just in Havana, but as well as in Cienfuegos and Santiago de Cuba in the coming days? Well, there's a lot more work to be done here. Uh, right now at the Port of Havana, there's only one terminal uh, that can uh, uh, house, accommodate uh, up to two cruise ships at any one time. Not nearly enough when you start uh, hearing all these different cruise lines, not only Carnival, but Norwegian and others uh, that want to have regular cruises here. They're just as in space. And of course, this is, uh, it's a uh, ship from the Fathom Line. Only about 700 passengers can fit aboard the, the ship behind me. And that's pretty small. Uh, you think of uh, some of Carnival's larger ships. They fit well over 3,000. Those ships are just too big uh, to, uh, to arrive in in the port of Havana, at least right now. So uh, we're talking about a major investment that's needed here to uh, get Havana's port ready. It's probably going to take years for that to happen, but you know this is an important first step. And once again, uh, the first U.S. cruise ship to arrive with not only Americans but Cuban Americans aboard, and uh, they are receiving a very warm welcome here in Havana. All right, Patrick Gottman, live in Havana this uh, this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. And Carnival Zadonia will make three stops in Cuba after Havana. It's at sail for Cienfuegos and then Santiago de Cuba. The cruise will last one week. Keep it here for continuing coverage of the historic first cruise from the United States to Cuba in more than 50 years. We will take you back live to the island nation later on CBS4 News at 5.